Nature with Spirits of Japan. That's my wife Lonnie being nosy in her beautiful kimono. And uh, Nihon Dot Tours. <laughs> See, um, my other tour I want to tell you about is Osaka. Um, you know, we've covered a lot of different tours, and if you go through this whole uh, um, um, site, you'll see you'll see them all. Um, Osaka. I've lived in nine places around Japan uh, in the past 36 years. I've, I've been a lot of places. Uh, uh, Osaka is my absolute favorite place. We're we're in Osaka right now, in the largest park. Uh, and, you know, you've seen other. Uh, I've done, I do donut making to making your own lunch. To uh, in this park, we go to uh, old farmhouses. Um, go drinking at the local pub. We do all kinds of fun things up here in, in northern Osaka. But I have to say my favorite, uh, you know, and I've told you about uh, how everything began in Sakurai Nara Osaka, this little triangle that we uh, have from here. From the emperor to food and everything. You know, Tokyo may be uh, uh, the gourmet capital of the world, but uh, Osaka is Japan's kitchen. And um, what I do is I try to break this up into a, um, I have this tour, it's called the Osaka, Osaka Shrine and Temple Tour, or Osaka Day Trip, whichever way you want to call it. And um, uh, we had a really cool museum to jump back 150 years and look how, look how Japanese lived from 400 years to about 150 years ago. Um, really interesting uh, little museum, it's a living museum. Then we head uh, to the longest a shopping arcade in Japan. It's 2.8 kilometers long. We're not going to traverse the whole thing. We don't have time, but go through it. Maybe uh, see what a pachinko looks like. And, uh, get some food down there uh, out of a local little little uh, hole, hole in the wall. And then we're going to head over to Osaka Castle. And because it is a replica of the 269 castles that there were, about 100 foundations remain. Some of them are replicas like Osaka Castle, uh, Hiroshima, and uh, Nagoya. Uh, there's only 12 original castles left, and I have a tour for that too, by the way. It's 13 days, but uh, I digress. Um, we don't go into Osaka Castle itself. Um, it was rebuilt um, again in 1931, and... Uh, and uh, what, 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 what is really cool about this particular castle, it's kind of a blending of, of the two unifiers of Japan who had built a castle in the same spot. Um, the moats, everything is fantastic. We got to go check those out, look at the stonework, uh, talk the history because uh, there was something there that before Osaka Castle was there. And uh, it's a shrine. And after we uh, uh, traverse, traverse the, the castle grounds, we're going to head to that shrine. Possibly it's the third oldest in all of Japan. It's called Ikutama Shrine. And uh, we're going to go there. Um, it's uh, dedicated to the goddess Ikutama, which her, which her husband was uh, the, uh, the overseer of this land before the first emperor um, came in. And uh, we're going to go there. I'm going to tell you the whole story about it being moved and all that. We'll go through all that. There's a whole story behind it. And then we're going to pop over to uh, the, uh, the oldest um, temple in Japan. And both these, is this just so happens they're, they're in Osaka. And uh, we're going to go inside the building. I'm going to tell you the whole, as a 36 year Lotus Sutra Buddhist, Buddhist, I've been through this story a thousand times. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, the Buddha Shakam and the historical Buddha, not the little dudes that, you, that, are, that are bigger and chubbier. Um, and we're going to talk about them too. But we'll go down. We'll go down to uh, to this uh, temple. We'll traverse its grounds, go in the building, uh, get the whole history, talk story about some backstories, and uh, hit a couple of little places in there that are that are uh, important to, to stop at. And then we're done with that part. We're going to head to uh, a local uh, food district uh, that's 80% local, 20% uh, 20% uh, uh, tours tourist. And then uh, we're going to hit some really cheap places to drink and eat some local foods. It's going to blow your mind. And then we're going to head to the heart of Osaka, uh, where everybody, uh, you know, attempts to get to the. There's a, there's some landmarks you got to take some pictures in front of. It's called Doto Mori, and it's 80% tourist, tourist, 20 percent local. And then I'm going to take you to the places that I have found over over the years of doing this uh, that are great to eat at. Uh, as an ex assistant food and beverage director, uh, sake food is and this is why I, I live in Osaka. We're full of alcoholics and foodies, and I'll say it a million times. It's a great place to be. We're going to hit up a, a bunch of different places and uh, drink sake and eat local foods there too. So 
you know, it's a uh, culture, it's shrines, temples, uh, how all that uh, merged and separated, and then uh, local food, drink, and uh, all in Osaka. Um, and there are other places that we can go. There's many places up in northern Osaka. Uh, it's got one of the largest uh, temples uh, in Osaka called Sumiyoshi Taisha. Called Sumiyoshi Taisha. Um, I could just go on and on. Uh, we have the tallest building in Japan. Yeah, it's only it's only 60 floors, 300 meters, but it's here. Um, there's so many things about Osaka that's so so fun to 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 discover. So uh, again, allow me to be your guide. I hope that uh, I see you soon. And if there's any questions, just shoot me a line. Richard with Spirits of Japan. <laughs>